Hi everyone, so now we are going to talk about the Melkerson-Rosenthal syndrome. See, Melkerson-Rosenthal syndrome, it is also said to be the chilitis granulomatosa or you can also say this to be the orofacial granulomatosis. Okay? These are the other names for this syndrome. Now coming to the etiology, there is basically an unknown genetic cause which could be responsible for the occurrence of the Melkerson-Rosenthal syndrome. So now what basically happens in this syndrome is there are certain number of clinical features but before that just remember this Melkerson's triad these are the three very important features that could be seen in this condition first is a fissure tongue or a scrotal tongue then a relapse or reoccurrence of the facial palsy in a short interval of time then chronic swelling of the lips which is usually non-tender but yes if it persists for a longer period of time it could also turn into a permanent swelling and with time it could become tender now coming to the other clinical features so the triad features are already clear that is the fissured tongue swelling in the lips and uh, facial nerve palsy which could be seen you also need to remember that sometimes single lip is involved or both the lips could be involved you can see there is edema of lips facial palsy and scrotal tongue these are the common features and this triad is very 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 important okay moving ahead to some other features which could be seen fever chill, chills headache visual disturbance also there could be cushion like buccal mucosa now talking about various type of treatments which we have for this we can go for certain antibiotics now in antibiotics you can give the tetracycline antibiotics or clofazamine could also be given to the patient Moving ahead to steroid injections could be given to control the inflammation. You can also give steroids to the patient. If you come to the di uh, differential diagnosis of this particular condition, so insect bite is another very important differential diagnosis or a common uh, diagnosis which could be taken into consideration. So it is insect bite because many a times you see the lips are swollen so patients could take it as a uh, insect bite but yes if it is occurring for a longer period of time if it is persisting for a longer period of time in that scenario you can take it as a case of milkerson rosenthal syndrome so this was a little information about the syndrome i hope the video was useful to you if it was please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you